clean. Shoot everything I saw on my television. Just cause I had some kind of baloney, make sure you don't break your back. Start coming at me, trying to lie on me, say I need, I want to move, I want hands or something. Uh, so basically, I was trying to figure out if you got any more info because um, when I tried to go in there, they tried to pull a holiday on me before the holiday even happened. And they're trying to close up at 12. What and then I'm, for, basically, um, I was trying to call this person, Sarah, supposedly, who um, tried to get in touch with me because I tried to sue. Supposedly, when she called me, uh, she said to get in touch with Sarah. And then um, I think I called and then I don't know if they didn't answer. Maybe I should call them again. And I'm almost going to ask if you guys have that number to get in touch with her again because um, hopefully it's in my backpack. Like, let me, I can check. But um, I was just thinking, like, maybe you guys had, like, uh, had whatever I came for because uh, supposedly I've even had, like, one fifty thousand dollars and it got redirected to my enemies at my house. They get to steal my mail and make me do struggles and possibly I won just trying to prove that cars are trying to hit me, harass me and all that jazz. And then they told me it's not legal. So that sums that up, too. So, uh, I don't know. Basically, I think you might have gave me some of these. I'm wondering which one was the Sarah number. If you can help me with that one. Maybe you wrote down her name. Doris Hills. Like, uh, was that? I don't know if that was you. Be ready for... Okay, never mind. Sorry. That's something else. Yeah, I was really trying to get here before 8, uh, whatever, 12 o'clock. So, couldn't fail. But somehow they tried to say there was a holiday. And they said it was a Veterans Day. Then there was a raining. There was so much rain. And I want to claim that all the rain was fake, all of it. So, uh, is this, who is this? Social Security? Oh, no. Well, there's a possibility I do have it, like, uh, somewhere. But um, I was almost going to ask, do you guys have that number you can give to me again? Because somebody's, like, insulting my intelligence. Because I would use a baby stroller to keep all my stuff organized, not ruffled up. And somebody tried to lie on me and try to say I'm doing it because I want to look like I'm homeless. I'm like, no, I just want to don't, don't want to break my back. And then I tried to do some other ways that made me waste my wallet and sent me a weird back. And only because someone forced me into doing that because I, they would have claimed I was going to be homeless and they're not going to give me my stuff that's in my garage or even holding on to my money inside the garage and just doing all kinds of stuff like that. Not only that, while this guy's like. I want to claim is even one next one I'm trying to sue is like even being a child molester every single Saturday. It's really disgusting. And he's like trying to manipulate a girl to basically do strange things by trying to limit her food. And I'll just get her a pizza every time and I jam out. I don't want to be part of none of that because actually I want to claim the reason why I'm being harassed is because I try to stop this Pastor Rob at Jen Church and because this girl was trying to tell me the same pastor, Bobby Bob. And I couldn't even believe it, but then I found out it was true, and then I left the church, and then he said, oh, at this point, I'll pay you, literally by that light over there. And I don't even know what he thought I was going to do. Maybe he thought I was coming all the way over here to do whatever, but he just showed up on a little bike. So I want to claim I've just been harassed ever since that. And I left mine because I found something bad about my Davidia branch. So I was like, oh, I can't be going to this if they're going to be doing evil things like that. So I found three in total right now. And Sarah Felix, Mario Sanchez, Pastor Rob, and that's not exactly why I'm here, but I'm going to claim all the attacks are going to be coming ever since I went to this church, stuff like that, and I can't get them to stop. So basically, I was told that I possibly even won $50,000. I seen this receipt um, sitting on my, like, basically my dad's dinner table. I don't know why he left it out for two to three days if he was trying to gaslight me or bait me or what. But I was told by my aunt, that's what it is. And um, they, he tried to claim that he got the money from hard work. And I don't even know what $50,000 is. I totally do. That's like whatever that is. And then he tried to claim that he's giving it to my niece, my nephew. That's actually my karmic nephew right now because basically he tried to fight me for, uh, I don't know, he's probably jealous or something strange. But he's trying to say that he left some kind of money in the back of his car and he got fired from his job because one of his friends stole it. And that's why he's giving him fifty thousand dollars so i'm going to claim that it's totally a lie and i'm going to take them in for that too because it's a lie not only that i was told i even had like i don't know if it was 500k but supposedly it went down to 401k and then he's trying to claim that he got it through crypto which he doesn't even know how to do technology 
he basically isn't even my real dad. That's what I was told by my aunt. She even told me that he had an extra child that died. Didn't even tell us that. He's telling me that he's actually my uncle. My real dad recently died. He left me my inheritance and uh, even a house and um, stuff like that. And they're, that's the whole alternative mode of how they have a registered sex offender in my house, trying to hit do murders on me and all this nasty stuff. Literally allowing women to get beat up in my house and doing this nasty sleep deprived sex uh, magic. So I wanted to claim that's what that is. If the whole city's in on it, then that's that. But happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I wanted Thanks. to claim that's that's what I'm trying to figure out all that about. Cause like I've been fighting for my life. Cause they try to hit me with a car on the way over here, harass me all the time. And as far as it shouldn't be that hard to prove, all I would have to do is just press rep like record, and then boom, I would still try to get caught. But they think they're so above the law or something they can almost just try to harass me the whole time. So all night, 24 seven. So basically what I just said, um, it'd be nice if I could have got Sarah's number if you guys still have that. Cause her name was Sarah, according to this, uh, e this voicemail they left on my text now. And I finally actually got a real phone so she can call me here instead of, uh, on that app because the app I had to be on Wi-Fi because randomly in the middle of all that they wanted to cut off my thing for no reason I'm on the process of going to AT&T strange wild security was threatening to kill me for no reason whatsoever and I thought I was told them that I was there to go pay my bill that's supposed to I thought this place was going to open within like 15 20 minutes he thought he should try to kill me drive down the wrong side of the freeway, oh, I mean, go the wrong side of the road and make a big old deal about me just trying to pay my bill. Not only that, I kept getting into strange issues every single time I tried to even go over and pay my bill. It's like they wanted to just do something like that to me. Like as if I didn't get, almost get hit by a car, harassed by police, just all this strange stuff just to pay the bill. And this guy actually threatens to kill me, why? And then the next day I go over to Walmart, Everybody is so nice to me for no reason. Like they're even extra nice than they were before because they probably know they're just, just full of crap. So basically I recorded that one too, but the sad part is I only got the audio, but I can give you guys audio for that one. And I just know that I was being professional, polite, and just trying to claim that I felt like he was in the wrong. And I felt like whatever that is, if I talked to this boss or whatever, I was pretty sure they would, they would really think that was way too extreme. Cause I could have just walked away and that's fine. That's what I was doing, but he made it like he wanted to kill me while I'm leaving. It Sir, was strange. I need to know what department Sarah is with. Okay, Sarah was for me supposedly um, trying to sue. It was my claim. We don't have a Sarah in our legal department. That's well, why. You guys sure. did give me a number to her, Sarah, and then um, basically I called and she didn't exactly answer. So I was thinking I'd have to find the number again. I kind of thought it's probably at my house. I kind of rushed out of here to get here before. 12 because they kind of close up at 12. We don't close at 12. We're not, we're open until five okay. today. Okay, not you, but those other people that have my records. Cause I was trying to find out about the that restraining order. County. So maybe Sarah from the county called? Um, we're city, not county. Okay, but you guys did give me the Sarah number I thought. And then I actually got it done here. It might've not been you, it was like some other girl. And then I thought she wrote it on a yellow piece of paper and I went out and tried to call on my tablet. But now that I have a real number, she can actually call me back way easier. Yeah, but, I, I'm not exactly sure who they gave you, whose number. We don't have a Sarah. In okay. I can kind of check if um, I have this idea that this thing won't, won't load when I need it. It's really annoying. But uh, I'll see if it does. If not, I guess I just uh, suck the same old loop over and over and over again. I almost wish I could just request somebody to walk me to where I gotta go instead of having me go in loops. I don't know if that would be the end of the world, but uh, I just really wanted to get things done. It's not like I expected it all get done on a day before, but like they gave me this rain, they gave me this Veterans Day, they gave me a Thanksgiving, they gave me a Super Bowl, they just keep giving me a lunch break. So, so. and we were open on Veterans Day, so that's the other reason why. Oh, nice. This is someone from the county. Who that's you. good. I, I almost would have thought you guys were closed on Veterans no, Day. No, that's why I'm wondering if it's someone from the county who called you, which means you would have to go over to the county building. Where this, so where is that county? Is that county building like over there by kind of like where that old, um, where the 99 cent store used to be? Fed Arabia, yes. That is exactly where it's at. Like near ta uh, Target? Yes. Oh, interesting. That would be where they probably it, called you Do from. you know if that place is open today? It is. It should be open until five, just like interesting. that. Interesting. I think I might actually go over there because I was supposed to 
go over there just because of. But um, I mean, I was gonna see if I play the voicemail. Ish, I thought I named your name so I could actually find it. Sorry. No, that's okay. I just I, I'm racking my brain trying to think of any Sarah that I know of that would have called you. And your no name was Sarah, Sarah that I'm aware of would have would have been the person who would have contacted you. Which is why I'm thinking it might have been someone from the county that called you. Okay, um, I did get these strange little prank calls all over and over and over, but I have a feeling it's like somebody is doing that on purpose. Like whoever has my information, whoever thought they could like ransack my house and get my info, that they're giving out my number to prank calls uh, just, cause I felt like I've had this happen to me, but like in 2002 or 2003 when, um, before I know that could happen. So uh, yeah, I think this is, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was like, I hope it's plays. But sometimes it tries to be like, you gotta go online. And then obviously, like my I used to have a hotspot on this for some odd reason when I'm gonna use the hotspot for my work to, so I could play this thing. This thing wanted to claim the hotspot went off for some reason. So they just keep doing that. Like some reason in the middle when I need it the most, they thought it should turn off my thing, not even tell me I go to ATT. Has almost asking me if I want to die. I'm like, what? I'm just being the most polite person in the world. So I'm just gonna give them the money. So it's just very strange. The people in AT&T are nice to me too. I don't know what was wrong with that security guard. And it's like some black guy I didn't even see. I don't know why he was acting like that. As if he was getting paid with my own money to do it. But yeah, it's basically not really loading. So I guess uh, it's the same, same. I mean, I- I, 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 I would try the county because I just don't know if it's Sarah that would have contacted you. Yeah, on this voicemail, she left her name. She said it was Sarah, like we're on that third voicemail right there. It's almost like, yeah, I was trying to play it, but it's almost like I do have the number somewhere. I don't know if um, it's in my, like, maybe I called it literally, like maybe, okay, I might actually be able to find it if 